Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Today we're looking at Archie Court. This is the Ursus Guard Archie Soldier Squad. Another squad here of three soldiers. Got some really nice looking weapons in there, which even though these are 135 scale, will be compatible with your 118 scale figures. Is that a barricade or something in the top corner there? Let's look on the back. Some really nice artwork. Looks like a grappling iron sort of spiked or harpoon gun there. See on the side what's included. Looks pretty cool. And I have ordered some of these big guns separately on Tau because People do split the stuff. And I should be getting them maybe tomorrow or the day after the use of my 118 scale figures. Okay, let me take the cellophane bag off, unbox it, set them up and let's take a look. Okay, here we are with the set. The only thing I've not taken out is the additional hand that you can swap around and some of the small connectors. I'm going to say this off the, off the bat. Um, out of all the troop sets so far from Archicore, we get three in a set. This is, at the moment, my favourite. Not because it's the newest, because of the things it comes with. So, you get three soldiers. We know that the Archicore soldiers, the figures are fantastically engineered and very uh, highly articulated or have good articulation already. Not only that, things we get in the set. So we get another banner. This is Vec. It tells you Vec on there. You can see on the banner. We've seen those before. We get a guy with a massively great big gun. He could hold it better if I changed his hand around here to grip. I didn't change that hand. But look how big. That's that's a work on my team scale. And he can hold that so well. So if I change the hand open, he could grip that underneath there. Fantastic gun. There's a bit of paint work. We get two of these, I'm going to call them grenade launcher pistols or flare flare guns. Or elephant pistols, elephant gun pistols. Take one huge shell in there, fantastic. Get one of these axes, which you've seen before. They are very, very good. Again, I do like these. And we get one of these, I'm not sure what to call this. It's got an ammo in this. It's like a gun hammer or something. There we go. You hammer them and shoot them at the same time, which is pretty cool. We get this barrier, which my guy is here sort of pushing into place. We can see at the moment these nice spikes in the bottom. Uh, these spikes can go down. They can go the other way, etc. Ah. And they should come off as well. Now I can't get it back around again. It's going to pop out. There we go. Another soldier there. Now he's going to lean onto it like he's drunk. We get these uh, two really cool cannons. This is like a flame for a seated flame for a one. And this seat is so cool because it actually has a little seat that comes up and folds out on the back leg there. Drill barrel, some paintwork on that. And that will look fantastic. Though you'd imagine it wouldn't have that much fuel. Two canisters here another two canisters there. But great. And then my favourite piece. This is this is just amazing. Check this out. You get a harpoon gun. And this is what I talk about the back. The back leg, you can fold this part down and out for a seat for the, for the guy to sit on. But yeah, get a harpoon gun. And look, it's even got its own winch. If you shoot it, and it sort of... Let me get which way? This way. And it sort of comes out. And you're going to trip something up, sort of Empire Strike style or pierce an armour. You can winch it back in afterwards. Or get your spike back, whatever. Which I think is absolutely fantastic. And not only that, they also give you attachment for the grappling hook. And then this sort of semi-spear, semi-grappling hook here too. What a fantastic set. I mean... I've got one of these sets, but I'll be tempted to get maybe two more. Not so much for the weapons, but the barrier and the, well, everything. You know, great little army building set. They're not cheap, but they are fantastically well engineered toys. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, soldiers in more detail. Or a soldier in more detail. There's not much difference in them. They are all unique. They have different, all have different, is it different heads, all of them? All have different, uh, either a different head or different chest part, I should say. So two have got this head and two have got that chest part, but no, no single 
two figures has the same head and chest parts that all look individual. Very cool. To give you an idea of size, in fact, to exactly how big they are, these guys are about from head to foot about five and a half. Oops, can't see. Head to foot about five and a half centimeters, approximately. And I said they are one thirty-five scale. So let's look at their amazing articulation. For something that's so small, they've got such good articulation. So depending on the head, obviously without the side parts on the mask, they get a better left and right. Get up and down, they do get a side to side. Arms go all the way. Uh, this shoulder pole is actually separate to the shoulder. It's an attachment. So you can, the arms are really stiff. You can move it out of the way, get his arms all the way up. Look at that, amazing. And you can put this at the pole halfway around again. Get his arm down. You've got a shoulder turn. The bicep bend is over 90 degrees. And the hands are on a like barbell joint, so you get the movement and you can turn. And they can twist, and there's also a bicep shoulder and bicep twist. So much articulation packed in such a small figure. Trunk forwards backwards. There is no side to side, but you can turn from the trunk. There's no waist. Now, there is a waist. There's a waist turn, but no articulation other than that that I can see. Hips, not far. Sorry, not bad, I should say. Pretty damn far. Practically a full splits. Forwards, backwards is a full splits. There is a thigh swivel. There is a double kneecap. Look how tight that is for a small action figure with big chunky legs and feet. There is a there is a boot turn. There's a swivel. There is a not great, but there is a small tippy toe. And there's also decent dorsiflexation. What a fantastic set. You've got great figures. You've got great accessories. This is a winner. As I said, I've got just the gun parts coming in a separate order I made. Um, I'm hoping I can modify them to make them single-handed for my team. Maybe I'll cut one handle off or something. I'm not sure. I will see. I'll take the handle off and stick it on the side. But I think they'll look good. I might actually attach this to one of my uh, custom vehicles that I'm going to start working on. I want to say the near future is probably lying. The distant future is probably more likely. Great set, worth getting it or go. It looks so good with all the other Archicore stuff. You know, I reviewed recently the uh, Boulder Bunker set, which is massive. And uh, we've got more things to uh, go with our Archicore stuff again. Definitely worth getting to this line. As I said previously, if I were only to collect one toy line, It'd be between this and number 57, the uh, 124 scale kits. Why? Because they're both they're both amongst the top engineered, the best engineered toys in the market. Um, number 57, the releases aren't that often, so you save a lot of money, or you, you have money to spend when new releases come out. This stuff, it's a bit more expensive, and releases are a bit more frequent, but it is doable. However, having said that, the amount of tour lines I'm getting at the moment, my wallet is taking a uh, beating left, right, and center in any which way I look. And with the wife finally going to come here, probably in July or August this year, haven't seen her in two and a half years, I think my uh, toy cutting will be decreased again. Okay, this is Awesome Match Toys signing out, saying please like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon page if you want to support the channel, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.